Vietnam War was the first war we watched from our living room televisions as camera crews put their lives in danger to film it. Drafted and unprepared for such a war, the American soldiers found themselves in an environment and culture they couldn't understand. What started as a popular war for democracy ended up a quagmire with little understanding of why we were even there. By the time everyone had lost a son or a daughter, public opinion changed. And though it was the first war we watched from our television sets, it was also the last war that young soldiers were drafted into. For a war they didn't believe in, and yet they served their country just the same. When our soldiers came home with ailments from war, they were shunned. Not only by the civilization populations, but also by their own government, who would not admit that any of their complaints held value. It was not until the 1990s that illnesses from ancient orange got any credence. Flight deck is one of those stories. This monologue is the last one from I Was There in 67, a series of 10 monologues telling the stories of those who went to Vietnam. Ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> Flight Deck by Judith Preston. Trying to get out any way they could. 
Tons of boats were coming up to the battleship, every one of them filled with Vietnamese, American reporters, people from the embassy. The roads out of Saigon were in chaos, with people dragging their children and oxen and buffalo. Dead bodies were piling up on the sides of the road while people were running from rockets falling in front and behind and on top of them. Some people were completely naked, taking clothes off the dead bodies. This is when I first realized that the war was about people. People with faces, faces of fear, crying, opening their mouths to scream, losing loved ones they could never go back for, like husbands and wives and children. <coughs> and it sticks in my gut and in my brain. And even though I'm losing my vision, I can still see it every day. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank, thank you. Excuse me? What, what do you mean I should call government affairs? Who the hell do you think left me like this? Get the fuck out of here! Get the fuck out of here! Yeah.